Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire. As I've said previously in my Isaac series, because we are lowering the frequency at which we do that series, I thought we'd bring back a series that I did a really long time ago, especially with the announcement of Slay the Spire 2. I thought it was a good time to jump back into some Slay the Spire and see if it sparks any interest, see if you guys like it, and if so, we can keep on doing it. Uh, so yeah, I've started a new save file, completely brand new, and I've got a few mods on, nothing crazy, just some of these that increase some of the uh, different options when you come across various question marks on the map. Um, and then a few little small ones that are just sort of quality of life. But I am open to playing actual sort of modded content if there's a if there's sort of a request for that coming down the line. Of course, you guys know on my channel we play a lot of mods. So if down the line people want to see actual modded content on this game, then we can definitely do that. But to start out, we'll be jumping in as the Ironclad for our first run. Now, I do have to say, I have about 100 hours in this game. I'm not amazing at it, and I haven't played it in years the the watcher i believe it's called this character literally never never played as them so uh there's definitely a lot of stuff that i'm behind on and it's going to be a learning experience uh going back through this but i hope you guys can enjoy um i think this game is quite an inter entertaining one to watch and we'll just kind of see what we can get going on uh, now i don't have fast mode on at the minute because i think that early on i don't want to have fast mode on uh, we'll start on the right here Go for a question mark off the bat. Obviously, we don't need these tutorials. But for people that don't know, if you haven't watched Leather Spire before, essentially, deal damage to the enemy, then they'll deal damage to you. You can see above their head what their next action is, and if you hover over it, it'll tell you what their buffs are. For example, we get vulnerable on this, which is going to me mean we do more damage, so we'll put some vulnerable, we'll put an attack on, and then we are out of energy, so we end our turn. Enemy then acts, they're buffing themselves up, as they saw here. And then you can see their intention to act next turn. So they're going to deal six damage. So we can block for five. We can block for another five. And we can deal an attack. And then our turn, then we take no damage. Now, as this character, you do heal six at the end of every combat. So we didn't technically need to block all of that damage. But um, that's how we did it this time around. So we can only apply five block here. But we can do two attacks. And we're going to be a little ways off of that. Uh, we need three attacks next turn. Or, we can go for this. There you go. And then that 12 damage that he was going to do to us doesn't end up mattering because we were able to negate it. Now we get to choose what cards we add to our deck. So we've got two pretty much polar opposite things of each other here that are both really good. Or we could go for Perfected Strike, which is going to give us um, extra damage for all the cards containing Strike in our deck, which is an interesting one. I think I'll go for that. Perfected Strike is pretty, is pretty good. Um, we'll go into the question mark here and see what we end up getting. Let's see. Okay. A uh, wheel of change. Ooh, okay. So this this could be good, it could be bad. I guess we'll see. Hopefully. No curse. Unfortunately, we got a curse. Uh, at the end of your turn, take two damage. Okay, so we're gonna want to get to a shop and remove that ASAP. I'm gonna go for all the question marks here, because the question marks can give you some good stuff. They're they're a bit risky, but they can give you some good stuff. Put some defense on there. I'm gonna attack that guy. Oh, man. That was unlucky. That's an unlucky way to start a run. Yeah, so now we, we can't play this, as you can see. Um, 18 damage there. We'll take a little bit of damage here, but I'm not worried about it because we'll heal most of it back. You got some armor off the back of that as well. There you go. Quick and easy. Yeah, we get some healing there. And let's have a little look-see. Deal two damage four times... And then exhaust. Exhaust means it'll remove it till the end of combat. Um, whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. That seems decent. We can go for that. We can go for that. Um, we, we can pay to heal here. Let's pay to remove a card from our deck. Um, and let's remove the decay, shall we? That saves us some trouble. We'll go for this elite here as well. Oh, we got a chest here. Every time you... Uh, Every time you play 10 attacks, gain energy. That's kind of interesting. That could be useful. And we got our first elite here. Obviously, elites are more difficult, but do reward us with items. They're generally pretty good. Um, we'll go for that, and then a block. These guys, interesting. So, do 9 damage, then these two do 9 damage, then this one does 9 damage. Y you, we're going to take a lot of damage here, unless we can get lucky with our... Um, with our abilities to play... Defensive cards. Don't even know why I really played that. Um, so I can block for 10 damage here. I probably ought to block for 10 damage. 
do some damage to him. We can probably kill this guy next turn if we get the right uh, cards out of our draw pile. Unfortunately, they are adding these days to our deck constantly, which are cards that are just sort of there to be in the way. And as you can see, they are very much in the way. Um, doesn't mean we can block all of this damage though, but didn't get to kill him like I was hoping. I was hoping we'd get Perfected Strike and be able to get a kill there, but unfortunately not. But like I said, at least we get to block all of the damage. We are almost on that bonus energy as well. Um, hmm. I think we just do that. And then that didn't kill, unfortunately. I'm just going to take the damage here. It's a lot of damage to take, but... I'd rather get that guy deaded. I think I'll lose less HP in the long run. Don't really need to do that again, but... Yeah, these days are becoming problematic. Becoming rather problematic indeed. Want to up upgrade our Perfected Strike at some point as well. You can get these little fireplaces here, where you can either rest to heal up or upgrade your cards. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a, a bit rough on our HP here. But this is our first run. I'm not going to I'm not gonna worry too much about taking bad damage. Oh, dude, that's rough, man. That's rough. All days. Luckily, the days cards do disappear out of our deck once they've appeared. But still, it's, it's annoying to have quite so many of them. Oh, you didn't get a single attack there. I have to take another, like, 8 damage here for pretty much no reason. Okay. So, unfortunately, I can't quite kill that guy. Um, but I, I need to kill him, so... I guess we just overkill. Oh, I had another energy! Damn it, nunchucks! I wasn't ready for you. I should be paying more attention to that. I just wasted an energy there. Right, three block is not a lot. Oh, God. This has been a rough elite fight. This has been a rough elite fight. We're probably going to have to uh, rest up. Okay, good. Yeah, we're probably going to have to rest up. I'm hoping we get Perfected Strike here and can end this next turn, but with all the days in our deck still... Oh, we did. Nice one. Good, good. Okay. Not the best. Whenever you have no cards in your hand um, during a turn, draw a card. That's reasonably good. Um, and armaments is very, very good. I'll take armaments. What we got here? Find Predator. Ooh. I will do this. First time you lose HP. Okay, that's good. This is a bit risky, but we can we can heal right here. We'll rest up. I would rather upgrade my cards, but we'll rest up here. And we got another few fires along the way, so it, sh it shouldn't be too bad. Um, whenever you enter a shop, heal 15. That's really good. Um, we don't have any shops coming up, though, unfortunately. We do have another... I oh, know, we have a shop there. I guess we could go elite and then and then shop, I think. That's probably a good idea. Okay, luckily, these guys aren't too bad. Armaments here will pop and then upgrade Perfected Strike. And we can just do that straight away. Yeah, armaments, once it's upgraded, is going to be very, very good. If I remember correctly, it makes it so that we... Um, Ooh, okay, let's let's do that. Do that and do that. There you go. Nice one. If I remember correctly, um the armaments upgraded makes it so it upgrades all of our cards in our hand. A hey, twin strike will take that. That's another strike card. We do have some potions here as well now. I'll upgrade my blocks so I can get a bit more block going. Uh do you know what? I'll just drink this and see what we get. Um Unfortunately, nothing really good here. <laughs> I guess. Doesn't really do anything for us, but there you go. Okay. Affected Strike coming in. Um, we'll obviously pop Rage there. Unfortunately, Perfected Strike very nearly just got us the kill there. But it's okay. We're going to want to try and get more energy later on. Normally, when you kill the bosses at the end of the stage. There's three stages. Normally, when you kill the boss, you get lucky and you can... Um... Ooh, okay. Let's let's draw three here. <sighs> Unfortunately, not what I was looking for. Armaments. We'll upgrade that. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. 
But yeah, we definitely have to do more thinking, a bit more strategy in this game than we normally would on the series that I normally put out. And I'm sure some of you that are uh, that are actually good at this game will be annoyed by the way that I play it and how poor I am at it. But we'll get better and you guys can give me tips along the way and stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. It shouldn't be too bad. I want to I wanna be able to like actually do something decent with the series and <laughs> hopefully get some good uh, some good runs going, but we'll see. Unfortunately, took a lot of damage there that I really shouldn't have. There you go. And Barricade. Block is not removed at the start of our turn. That's potentially pretty good, but for three energy, it is a little steep, but I will grab it and see. Right, what, what we got coming up next here? The Elite's next, so I probably should rest. Unfortunately, because there's one elite that I know of that can basically destroy us, so... And it's this one. <laughs> this is the one. We'll put Vulnerable on him. And more Vulnerable. Basically, the, the, every time we use a defensive card, this guy gains damage. Um, so we want to use as, as little defensive cards as we can. But he does hit pretty goddamn hard, so... Okay, that was unfortunately... That counted as a defensive card there. We very nearly killed him in one go here. Unfortunately, he's going to get a hit off on us, but we'll heal most of that up by going to the shop here. Um, and there you go. That was a very quick elite kill there. That went very well. Um, that's pretty good. And then Sword Boomerang's pretty good. Flame Barrier. I like Flame Barrier. We'll take that. Let's go to the shop here. We'll get a heal out of the back of that. And then here we can get some de decent stuff. Oh, Molten Egg's very good. It'd be good if we could grab that. Start each combat with 10 block is potentially pretty decent. Uh, we've got another flame barrier here. Um, clash. These two pair quite well with each other. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength, and we lose HP to deal damage there. Let's let's buy these two in conjunction, and then let's remove... I don't actually know what I want to remove, to be honest. I don't want, I don't want too thick of a deck. But I also don't want to remove my strikes. No, what? No, I can remove one strike. It's not ideal, but I can remove one strike. Um, and then we'll go here. And now we can actually upgrade. So this is this is where it gets tricky. So barricade just lowers our cost to two, as you can see here. Flame barrier is more block, which is nice. That's two strength. That's pretty good. But I think armaments is going to be the one we want to upgrade. Upgrade all cards in your hand. I think that's going to be good. And here's our first boss. We're coming into this with pretty decent HP. This is one of the easier bosses, I think, but we can do this look and upgrade to all of them for the rest of combat. Um, why not? Why not? That's pretty goddamn good. <laughs> pretty goddamn good. I gotta say, I, I find I don't use my potions enough, so I'm trying to use them as much as I can here. See, now... Now we got a problem. <laughs> I think we pop both of those and go with that. 32 damage coming at us here. Pretty hefty hit. Pretty hefty hit. Um, I think we want to go with Bash for the Vulnerable into this. Loses a bit of HP off us, but it gives us strength. Um, Should have played Rage, but we didn't actually need to, so it's fine. We need to play Barricade at some point. We need a good turn for that. But now when he's in this form, he gains Thorns, so we, t we take damage. Oh, okay, actually, this is good. We can play Barricade here, which isn't ideal because we're not we're going to lose some HP, but I think it's better off that we do that because then we don't uh, trigger the Sharp Hide as much. we got to be careful about multi-hits and stuff here. We're up to 10 strength plus 10 damage on our attacks. So these are dealing 19 apiece right now. He is going to deal a hefty bit of damage to us here, but the good thing is you heal fully on the next floor, so we don't have to worry too much about the damage we're taking at the minute. Um, flame barrier here we can pop. We'll do two of those. And five times four, that's... How much damage is that? 20? No. Yeah, 20. So we can live through that. Five block isn't going to do much. Let's just go for an attack, shall we? Yes! Okay, so we actually transformed into his next form, which which actually resulted in him not attacking at all, which was quite nice. He's put his sharp hide on, which I don't like. We're keeping our block, remember? Um, let's go with armaments here. 
to do that. 38 damage there. And we've got a good amount of block. Remember, we keep our block throughout our turns now. That's going to be pretty useful. And there you go, baby. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Good boss fight. Explosive potion's pretty good. And here we get... Okay, so... This is tricky. I think I want to go for demon form, even though it's a costly card. Um, and then here, elites drop an additional relic is pretty good. Um, we can... Can no longer obtain potions. I'm going to go with that. Potions are good, but the extra energy allows us a lot. I, it, it's probably not a great idea, but there you go. Um, we do heal and we go to shops. And we have a good bit of money to work with here. Hmm. We could go there, there. We'd miss out on the elite who went that way, though. Right side there is not great. Let's have a look, see. So... Uh, here. Could get an elite there. Uh, we'll go left side here because we've got a bunch of campfires. Avocado. Hello. Good, good. So yeah, like this. I just... Oh. Can no longer obtain potions. Okay, I wasted that a little bit, but eh, whatever. Right. But yeah, having four energy gives us so much leeway with our three energy cards. We should block all of that. Unfortunately, I drew barrier there when I didn't really want to. That was from um, which which one was that from? There you go. Yeah, I got to remember. I've got to remember. I have that. So now I can pop this, pop that, and now I'll start gaining uh, gaining strength every turn, which is going to be pretty nice. Building up strength on this character is always fun. Um, yeah, we'll go with Barricade here, even though we're probably not going to keep any of this. Excuse me, I thought I had enough energy to do that. Oopsie. My bad. Taking a bit of damage that I shouldn't have there. Um... There you go. I was, I was hoping to be able to get the kill there, and we were able to. Um, these are all pretty good, but we can skip if we if we feel our deck's getting a little uh, a little crowded. I do like weak though. Weak is pretty good, and they're all upgraded, so I kind of want to take them. With that question mark here. You find yourself in an old decorated chamber in the center of the room is a large skull sets atop an ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts the flames and turns to face you. Ooh, I'll talk to it. Why not? Um. Ooh. I think I'm just going to take the money. Oh, I can take more money? Hell yes. Should have really checked my shops before doing that, to be honest. I don't really have a lot of shops to go to, but... Means we can spend more when we get there, I guess. Not the best usage I've ever had. I think I'd rather go for that and then get a bit of block there than use barricade there. Block all of that. I'm going to need to heal soon. Flame barrier's nice. Beautiful stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, health is definitely a point of contention here. It'd be nice to get some healing. There are a few cards you can get that give you healing. Hmm. I think I'm just going to do that. Doesn't mean I block all the damage, but I block some of it at least. The demon form is kind of one of those cards that you want to you want to get it early. Maybe. Um, whenever you draw a status or curse card, ooh, that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna skip the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say nothing. Ah, oh, damn. It's getting a bit risky with our HP right now. Dude, you have to do that much damage on turn one. What is this? I only drew one block. Well, we're gonna take some heckin' damage here. Ah, 
man. This is a rough... This isn't even elite, is it? Yeah, it's just a regular enemy, and it's, it's probably going to kill me. <laughs> probably should have played average there. I suppose it doesn't actually matter. I guess I'll play that. I don't have a thing either, so I don't keep that, do I? Dude, why does this thing do so much goddamn damage? I only gained nine block from that. Oh my god, that's frustrating. Well, I might be dead here. This guy's doing an insane amount of damage. I, mean, I did a good amount of damage to him, which is nice. There you go. Ugh, that was rough, man. That was rough. Flex, I can take a flex. Right, please not combat. Hey, it's a shot. That was good. Okay. If at the end of your turn, um, without block, you gain six. That's pretty good. Every three turns, gain energy. This is some good stuff here. Um, I think I'm going to take both of these and then remove a card. What am I going to remove? I could remove a regular block, to be honest, at this point. That was a good shot. That's a good shot. Right. We're going to have to rest here, unfortunately, as much as I'd rather not. Because we've got an elite coming up here. Don't remember what this elite does or how it is, but we'll see. Um, oh, man. We're getting so unlucky with this. Right. Um, I guess I pop that. And then... Three week... Let's go with you because you're dealing the most damage. Just lower that damage you're dealing a bit. Alright, at least they're taking some damage here, but this isn't ideal. It isn't ideal at all. Right, pop... Dude, they're dealing so much damage. Pop armaments. I, I barely have any defense to actually play. I want to play demon form here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with defense, defense, and then rupture for later. Yeah, British doesn't matter right now. Even then, I'm not going to block all this damage. Luckily, this guy in the back is weakened still for, th for another two turns. I have five energy this time around, so we'll do flex, obviously. Yeah, we're just, we're, I think we just need more defensive cards right now. Because at the minute, we are getting royally shit on in the defense department. This guy's going to destroy us, man. Didn't expect this elite to be so crazy strong. <laughs> like I said, I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't know what I'm coming up against a lot of the time. Wound card there. Okay, we have we have blocked most of this damage at least. I haven't even touched the actual like taskmaster guy yet. I probably should have gone for him first. He might have like gotten rid of these two if I'd have gone for him first. But dude, yeah, we're, we're just pulling too many attacks. I thought we had more block in our deck than this, but we just don't. We're full of uh, attacks. It's causing us some major issues. Well, well, well. Um. We are weakened as well at the minute, which doesn't fucking help. Right, we get a good amount of block there and killed him, so that's that's not bad at all. Wasn't expecting to kill him there, actually. I think we gain our energy again here. Yes, we do. Nice one. Um, apply weak to you. That. And flame barrier. But yeah, health is not looking where I want it to be. Unfortunately, I've had to pretty much... Um, heal every single time so far, which isn't great. Okay. I've 30 health left. Keep a little bit of block over. I need barricade to be like the first thing I get. That if that if, if it worked that way would be would be golden. Okay. Gain some strength out of that. Okay, my god, that was tricky. 
Upgrade two random skills. That's that's good. We need a defense up. I don't mind that. Um, I'm going to go for another armament because it's more block. And I guess we have to rest at this point. Our health is very low. I'm going to take the elite path. I'm going to gamble. Max HP by seven. Yeah, this is a big gamble here. But I'm going to go for it. I think I think you just you have to just kill this guy. Um, it's the best way to play this. We'll definitely do that first. And I guess I could just play both of the blocks to block some damage. But yeah, pretty sure if we kill the leader, these, these little ones just bugger off. We don't have any AoE is another problem as well. We've got a lot of single target damage, which isn't helping. Okay, we'll play that. We'll play that. Do that. We'll do demon form. We'll take a bit of damage here, but I think this is going to be a, a somewhat lengthy fight. So I think going for demon form is going to help a lot. Dude, that's a lot of damage right there. That's a lot of damage. Can I kill you in one? Yes, I can. Okay. That lowers some of damage. Ah, damn. I got my extra card pulled there. I'm going to always forget about that sort of stuff. I need to just play a bit slower. It's why I'm on um, normal mode rather than fast mode. Thirty-six damage on him. Nice. He's going to summon more gremlin boys now, I think. Yeah. A few more. Go with that. Flex. Probably should have done rage before all of that to help me out, but... I was stupid. Okay, he's on, he's on lower HP. Now, again, I forgot about the goddamn draw. Shouldn't, I shouldn't just click end turn. I need to wait a second. Health is getting to a, a, a pretty horrible point right now. But this guy's it's getting down there. 12 over 3. That's not good. Can we kill him this turn? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Yes, there you go. They, they, they all retreat after that. Good stuff. I did remember that correctly. Two random attacks. Not bad, not bad. Iron Wave. Yet another defensive card. I think I'll take that. Okay, you two better not be too painful for me here. Don't know which one to really go for, but I guess the back line makes sense. Okay, let's just hope we can build up enough block to make this work. I just wish I could upgrade my cards a little more easily. That's why we've got the armaments, though, I guess. We go like that. And like that. I realized that I've uh, let this guy hit me. But I've got this thing here, haven't I? He's doing six damage. I gain six block. It's actually better. If we're going to play one block card, it's always better to let this do the blocking for us. Um... Just trying to think here. So 15 damage puts him down to... Like, 28, something like that? 27, I don't I'm not very good at quick maths. And then that's 14. It's not going to be enough, is it? I think we flame barrier then. And we just do demon form. Not going to block everything here. But they will take some damage in the process, which is nice at least. we got some good stuff going on here. Right, okay. Um... Pop Rage. Dude, these guys are doing some insane damage right now, and we have very little ability to, to apply block right now. Let's do that. I'm going to clothesline you to lower the amount of damage you're doing, and I'm going to do that on you, and that on you. And we might as well pop that as well. But this is a lot of damage to be taking here. We don't like this at all. Run is looking more and more over as we... Oh, really? Look at the amount of dazed I got there. This is bullshit. And I'm not... I'm, I can't even kill that guy. Well, I think we're dead. 
That's a real shame on our first run here. Unfortunate. We did unlock the silent. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think that's a, a reasonable first run. I played okay. We got past the first floor, but it's going to be a learning thing, and hopefully you guys can help learn with me. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more, and let me know what you want to see in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.